Hello everyone and welcome once again to Scorpion Cigar Reviews. Happy New Year! Today I will be reviewing the Pinar del Rio Selección 2011 uh, Reserva Limitada. This is a Robusto size cigar, 5.5 by 54. Uh, nice firm construction. Not brittle, but uh, definitely very firm. A very, very slight amount of very stiff sponginess, just right how it should be. This is a double cap cigar. I see the wrapper has quite a bit of unevenness in the coloring. Um, there's some real dark spots uh, above the the band, uh, like like blotchiness, uh, mixed in with with a a lighter portion of the wrapper. Once you get below uh, about halfway, like below this band, it's all very dark and, and pretty even, uh, with the exception of a few uh, I don't know maybe water spots or something, uh, but. The, uh, the halfway up all the way to the, the cap, uh, much lighter in color and, uh, as I mentioned, blotchy. There's some, some dark blotches here and there. Uh, I don't foresee it really being much of a, a problem as far as smoking and flavor and that kind of thing, but uh, just not uh, very even toned uh, coloring. Uh, some minor veins, uh, nothing that seems to be any issues. I'm not feeling any stems sticking out anywhere or anything. The seams are very tight. They, they almost disappeared. Uh, for a moment I thought maybe it was uh, going to be uh, one of those seamless appearances, but uh, then I I discovered that the seam was actually going uh, opposite the direction of the veins, which uh, actually did a, a fairly nice job of disguising it. I can tell right off the bat that the Bands aren't going to be a real issue, uh, as far as uh, at least not with sticking to the cigar. They're they're loose. In fact, this one's I may be able to roll it on down. The only problem with this is I, I risk damaging the cigar if I do it like this. So, but uh, both bands are loose enough on there that I, I can tell they're not glued to the cigar. It's just a matter of if they over glued it to themselves. That one came off nicely. will come off nicely if I get my fingernail under it. Okay, well, as I mentioned, it's not stuck to the cigar, but there's a little, a little more glue than they needed on it, and it's sticking to itself, but that's not a, a big issue. Uh, other than if you wanted to save the, the band for whatever purpose, as I do, I save the band, and I put it in a scrapbook, and I make notes. Uh, but anyway, the bands came off fairly easily. The, uh, the nose, not, not a whole lot going on with the wrapper. Maybe a slight bit of, slight bit of tobacco. The foot has some very spicy cedar. Maybe a slight hint of cocoa in there. Looking at the foot, it's the center of it doesn't seem to be packed quite as well. I don't know if you can see that or not, but right in the very center, it's almost like there's a hole through it, but not quite. Now I don't know if they've done something with that to try to uh, improve a draw or what the case may be, but we'll we'll see what happens. So. We'll get this clipped. Pre-draw. Seems to have a good draw, good airflow. A little bit of resistance. There's some spice in there. Uh, not a real like 
hot peppery or cayenne type of spice. It's more along the lines of spicy, uh, I guess like the spicy Spanish cedar. A little bit of leather in there. Slight hint of chili powder maybe. Kind of mild on the chili powder, real, real subtle. Okay, so we'll get this lit up and uh, see how it progresses. A lot of smoke comes off the cigar. Very full smoke. A lot of flavor in there. Uh, they're pretty well melded together. They're just starting to open up. So we'll see. Uh, see if I can pick these out. Some black pepper. Perhaps some cayenne pepper when in the rear of the palate. Very slight amount of soft leather uh, mid palate. Very slight, very subtle. A little bit of mineral in there, but once again, very subtle on the mineral. The predominant flavor would be the, the pepper. something else in there. Not sure what it is yet. Right off the bat, uh, initially this seems to be a, I guess towards the, towards the full body side, uh, upper medium, low full. Okay, so we'll get into the uh, first third of this cigar and we'll see how it progresses. So here we are into the first third. I have oh, probably about an inch worth of ash. Very light gray ash, almost white, not quite. So you see it's burning fairly evenly. Nice crisp burn line. Uh, it started to wave a little bit, but then almost instantly corrected itself. So a nice good burn line. Rich, creamy smoke. A uh, slight bit of Spanish cedar. Some minerals. Maybe a little bit of uh, like, a, like roasted nuts. Uh, long lines of peanuts, that type of thing. Uh, mm. Very pleasing. Picking up a little bit of, uh, I don't know, maybe like rye bread, maybe. Very interesting. Fairly wide flavor profile. Uh, seems to be a, at this point anyway, just into the first third, there's a lot going on with this cigar. I'm very pleased at this point. I end up developing a little bit of a curve to the ash. Not, I don't know if you can see that, but it's a little bit, I might have to flip this off. But uh, we'll get into the uh, second third and see how it progresses from there. So here we are, uh, starting the second third. Get a little bit of waviness to the burn, uh, but this happened early on in the first third and it corrected itself. This may very well correct itself again. Medium body. There's a little bit of meatiness with uh, some slight 
mineral in there and uh, something else. A little bit of black pepper maybe. Some of the flavors are still melding together. Uh, not able to pick them all out at this point, but you can tell that they're there. There's a lot more going on than what's coming forward. But so it's it, it's quite interesting. Uh, and, and honestly, this is a very pleasant surprise for me. I've, I've had some Pinar del Rios before that I was, uh, I, I don't want to say disappointed, but just uh, not as good as I hoped. Uh, this one is delivering so far uh, with the flavor profile and the body, the creaminess on the smoke. This is just a, a real pleasing cigar at this point. And you know, especially since lately I've, I've had some cigars that uh, kind of disappointed me. Uh, I've been on vacation the last week and uh, I've had quite a few cigars during this past week and most of them uh, have disappointed me, honestly. I've had some that uh, prior reviews I had done I found to be quite good and then I had one just the other night and I just really wasn't very pleased with it. Uh, I've had scores drop dramatically. I smoked one that at one point I had given it a 94 rating and then I smoked it uh, recently and I only gave it uh, Oh, I forget 88 or 89 and a half points somewhere in there. But so it had dropped, uh, you know, five or six points. Uh, but uh, this is a, a very pleasant surprise. A lot going on. A lot going on with the cigar. Very pleasing smoke. Looks like the burn is trying to correct itself. I don't see uh, the burn going to be a real issue with this. Uh, you know, I'm into the second third and the slight waviness that I get corrects itself, so uh, that's good. It's uh, still remaining fairly firm. It's starting to soften up just just ever so slightly, but nothing that I wouldn't see as being a, a real problem, uh, at least not at this point. Light bit of dryness on the on the smoke, not not bad. There's some subtle flavors going on that I'm having a hard time picking out because they're melded together. None of those flavors uh, are very forward, which isn't necessarily a problem. And just the fact you can tell that there's other things going on makes it very pleasing cigars. I have had some cigars in the past that there just really wasn't anything there uh, other than maybe uh, you know, some spice of some sort or a pepper of some sort or something along those lines and just didn't deliver anything else. But this cigar has a fairly wide flavor profile. So we'll get somewhere to the final third and see how the cigar progresses from there. Here we are in the final third. A little bit of une uh, unevenness in the burn going on. You can see right there. Been kind of doing this throughout. It'll start to go a little uneven and then it'll correct itself. So at this point, I'm not too worried about it. Let's see if it corrects itself. Very wide flavor profile with the cigar. Final third, uh, when I first entered the final third, I got a slight hint of uh, like a, a mustiness that was quickly overcome by uh, like a, a white pepper that traveled throughout the palate. Some other flavors in there that are kind of tough to pick out, they're all melded together. Uh, and just about now, there's a little bit of that mustiness. Uh, Kind of short on the finish, real subtle, a little bit of earthiness there. The smoke is both creamy and dry at the same time. The, the cheeks are being coated with a cream. 
but my lips and rear palate are picking up a, a bit of dryness from the smoke. Uh, not, not a real problem. Uh, take a little drink of water or drink of my cognac or whatever, and that takes care of it. But uh, this has been a real pleasing smoke. So much going on. A little bit of maybe some bread dough in there. Once again, short on the finish. This is one of those cigars that you take a draw and you pick up one flavor. Wait a few moments, draw on it again. And that flavor is completely gone and replaced by something else. Most of the flavors are pretty subtle. There's been a few uh, flavors a little more forward. The, uh, the white pepper has been in there pretty much throughout. Just an all around very good smoke. I'm real happy with this Pinar del Rio. Just now starting to warm up a little bit. It's not hot, just starting to warm up. And that burn is trying to correct itself right now. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's that little piece right there that's not burning is trying to burn through now. Not much of it left. It's actually uh, doing a pretty good job of burning through. So while it's still a bit wavy, it is correcting itself. So uh, I'll continue on to this final third. I'll get into the nub and uh, I'll give you my uh, final impressions from there. So here we are at the nub. This thing's really opened up at the nub. I'm getting a lot of uh, a lot of different flavors that are finally coming forward. I think these are the flavors that I was having a hard time picking out earlier on where they're all melted together and very subtle and short on the finish. They're finally coming forward. Uh, the nub has brought flavors of, well, right at the very beginning of the nub, where it transitioned from the final third into the nub, there was a hint of licorice uh, with a slight bit of mustiness, very slight. been a little bit of maybe some Cajun spices in there, uh, a little bit of Italian spices came through, a little bit of, uh, I don't know, like a, like a poultry seasoning type of thing. Very good. So, in all, I gave this cigar 94 and a half points. So this was a, a pretty stellar cigar for me. Very pleased. So I thank you for once again watching Scorpion Cigar Reviews of the Pinar del Rio Selección 2011. This is a Reserva Limitada Robusto 5.5x54. 94.5 points. Really good. Thank you.